Hello, I'm Timothy Addis, rhyming translator poet. I'd like to share with you my version of a poem by Manuel Gutierrez Najera called My Little Duchess, and he called himself Duke Job. Table talk, good jokes and speeches. I eat strawberries and peaches over your snoring pug dog, Probe. Here's a portrait of the Duchess, now and then worshipped by Duke Job. Not the Villasana Countess, nor the wench whose scarlet flounces thrilled Prieto, modest surge, not the moll of swells who go to your cockfights, Micolo, nor some nobly footed drudge, my little Duchess who adores me, lacks a great lady's airs and graces. She's the grisette of Paul de Kock. She doesn't dance Boston's and ignores the high delight of going to the races and the joys of Le Five O'Clock. Lovelier dream than any bard had celebrated round the globe or cherubim that Jacob studied. Such is the cheeky green-eyed redhead now and then worshipped by Duke Job. Out and about she treads deep pile, goes through swan and brown in style, modemed by Madame Pontoon. Not that she's investing there. She's some other couturière she's expected, sharp at noon. My little duchess has no objet d'art. She's sensational, she's frabjous, she's va va -voom. she's rooty toot. There is no dame à la mode in France matches her chassis for elegance even chez Madame Hélène Cossoute. Nowhere from La Sorpresa's entry to the steps of the jockey club is there a Spanish, French or Yankee lass of such dazzle, dash and duende as the Duchess of Duke Job. Drumming heels along the tiles, flashing figure that beguiles with a marked undulation. Blue blood's air as she surveys passing men. She pouts with grace, worthy of Mimi Pinson. If some wheedling oaf waylays her, she keeps shopping, my duquesa, lithe as lynx or zebra foal. Woe betide if she lets fly, biffs in one above the eye with unerring parasol. There's no woman fine as she, fairy feet and bel esprit, sparkling fresh as Veuve Clicquot, wasp waist, smooth skin fit to fly, cherry lip, cute college eye, eyes that say Louise Théo, nimble, rapid, pearly white, fine silk stockings drawn on tight, lacy throat, the corset's crack, nose so small, so spruce and trim, ringlets on the collar's rim, nodding, ruddy as cognac. Two green eyes go tango dancing. Nothing can be more entrancing than her nose's pert retrousse. Empress, you'd give up your page, boy, could you match her looks and age. Whitest silk of Duchess Pussy. You've not seen her wield the comb when the royal ringlets come tumbling on that pink epaule. You've not heard the joyful note trilled when on her arms and throat thick and fresh the soap suds fall. Sundays, carefree, negligé, she delights in sounds of day, undisturbed till nine or ten, while the maid is out at mass, with what joy the lazy lass frousts in rosy counterpane. Little cap to hide the tresses, lacy white, new laundered dresses poised above the long-backed seat, high boots, pointed tips, well glossed, peep at bedside, blithely tossed, jettisoned by tiny feet. Up she bounds all feather-light from her bed, so svelte and white on the horsehair. Not for millions, not for bride of lordly race, could I ever trade such grace, not for sweethearts at cotillions. Bring, I'm here, she's dressed to greet me for lunch. We gaily eat pair of eggs and perfect steak, picturesque chapultepec, rich wine, 
One demi-bouteille sends our carriage on its way. Nowhere from La Sorpresa's entry to the steps of the jockey club is there a Spanish, French or Yankee lass of such dazzle, dash and duende as the Duchess of Duke Job.